a gun, it could be a pistol, it could be a rifle. This is an M16 model, we call this the blue gun. The blue gun because it's blue. When you are hit, you first your color will be blue, then you'll be black. That's why you have the black and blue. So the first color you see is blue. When you are hit, you're black. You see black at you black in the whole world. So it's important you have to have what you call the ability to understand your weapon. Anytime you pick up a weapon, you might have to know the nomenclature. Nomenclature meaning you must know where is the part of the of the gun. You can have the bolt, you can have the, uh, the slide, whatever the trigger is, and you must understand that. So when you are going to upgrade yourself in terms of warfare, not the martial arts concept, is to have a development of your skill in the shooting, the way how you take your uh, rifle into the shooting position, how you be able to bring it on lower position and be able to use it for close quarter tactics. You can spray around, at the same time you can go and back and then be able to shoot. So in terms of training, you must be able to use this uh, also for parrying your, your enemy. Because there are times, as a matter of fact today, I think there is no more use of the violent knife. And violent training is nothing more emphasized than doing parrying. But as a military man, don't forget that during the time when your gun jumps and the enemy is close to you, without the bayonet, you'll be in trouble. Because three guys will come to you at the same time uh, and attack you. So you want to use your bayonet. And if you don't have a knife, you have no secondary weapon. So it's important that the rifle, as a means of survival, must be understood by somebody who has the ability to understand how to survive in these later days. There is no more martial arts in the process. The martial art is just a matter of sports. Martial arts is just a matter of knowing a very limited situation. But as a warfare man, you must be fully equipped. You can understand what's a kick, you understand what's a pants. You can understand somebody grappling. So in our case, we see to it that nobody and nobody must touch you. He must not touch you by all means. He must not get closer to you by all means. Because that is where the danger is. We don't allow our enemy to be close to us. That's why we are fully equipped with weapons. We have the gun, we have the knife. We can have triple knife. We can have five knives in our body. Because if you miss one knife, you can pull the other knife. And if you have three or four guys, you can stay care of the other guys. So it's important. If you happen to see that expendable, uh, where the knife is being used for spinning uh, the targets, it was a wonderful movie because it explained the use of the age group. So today, I recommend and highly recommend that anybody in Peggy Tertia, he must be fully equipped. This is where the, the trial of a man is. If he must have, he must have that kind of mentality to equip himself with all the kinds of weapons, be able to train with all kinds of weapons, then he's a man of war. Better. He's a man of war. But if he's not, he's afraid of the gun, he's afraid of the knife, then he's a man, half man only. He's not a man. So we don't recommend that. In our discipline, we see to it that you are fully trained in all categories of survival. You have to be fully equipped with all the kinds of weapons you need so that you will be able to survive. As I said, today, the danger is happening anywhere. And if you don't have that kind of training in, training in you, then you will be lost. You'll be lost in person. Then you fail to understand. You've been training for 20 years huh, in martial arts, but there's an instant that somebody pulls a knife in you and you're going to defend yourself. Three guys pull a knife in you, what do you do? So, in our case, we require that all Pikitirsi guy must be fully equipped and he must have an equalizer. It could be a flashlight, it could be a pen, it could be a anything. It may not be an edge weapon, it could be an impact weapon, which is unfaded. He can still defend himself. Because anything that is a, being an attack given to you by either a knife or a hand is still the principle of the blade culture. In our principles, we turn our hand to hand blade. We turn our motion and our action all to the blade culture. Not as an empty hand. We are not concerned of the empty hand. Our concern is we convert our hand into a weapon, which is the principle of the blade. The principle of the blade is a wonderful thing because it commands speed, timing, power, accuracy, and precision. You have the five elements within your hands. You must have used that by your means in order to control the enemy. The gun, the rifle, the cannon, the anti-aircraft, the flamethrower are all important to use to understand. 
Because in time of war, your best friend is your gun. Your best friend is your life. Your best friend is you and you and you alone, nobody else. Let's conquer the world by your mentality, with your philosophy. You conquer the world, you conquer your enemy. If you conquer your enemy, then you are well guarded in your house. Anywhere you go, you are well guarded. That's the kind of mentality that is today.